Good morning. Uh, well, welcome to my Tuesday morning Facebook Live update. And again, it's raining outside. Uh, everything's green and uh, thank goodness for rain. So I'm in my office today, not out and about. So uh, we have a few things to talk about. There are several reopenings this week. And first of all, starting tomorrow, retail will reopen under the guidelines, of course, that the governor has issued. All of these reopenings will be gradual and they will be according to the governor's guidelines. So they'll have a maximum of 33% capacity, maintain those six feet social distance like we do now, and employees wearing face masks for interaction with co-workers in common areas. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll all need to be doing these things. And then the full guidelines are available if you want to look at them on the Governor's Healthy at Work page, which you can find on our city's COVID-19 response page. And that is www.lexingtonky.gov. And then we have a big banner for COVID-19 response. On Friday this week, our restaurants will be able to open, and some of them are planning to do so. So similar guidelines are in place for what we have for retail. We're also working with our restaurants to allow them to increase their seating capacity by spilling out onto adjacent sidewalks, parking lots, and potentially onto some streets that may close, or we may close one lane. We've just got to take this um, very carefully to be sure we don't uh, impact traffic in a negative way. And you know Lexington has one of the most exciting culinary scenes in the whole country. We take great pride in our locally owned restaurants and so we're all anxious for them to reopen and for us to be able to go out to eat. So again, all of this information can be found on our COVID-19 response page at www.lexingtonky.gov. Now, a few other things. Yesterday, we released our Lexington Blueprint for Economic Recovery and sent it on to Governor Bashir for his consideration. The report looks like this. And this was an awesome uh, team effort. It's about 55 pages long. And over 130 of our community leaders participated in putting this plan together. It includes 330 recommendations to reopen our local economy here in Lexington Fayette County. The report was compiled over a two-week period and included 33 committee meetings, all of them conducted online and open to the public. And this report has been driven by the private sector. And the goal is that uh, reopening our economy will be intentional, gradual, and responsible. And in this blueprint, um, are, it is break, broken down by sector, uh, economic sector. For example, we had a team looking at athletics, high school and college athletics. We had a team that looked at bars and restaurants, a team that looked at education, and so on and so on. So. Um, now, getting back to work is very important to everyone, and it's important to our city. And back in February, before COVID-19 was an issue and cases had been confirmed, our unemployment rate was 3.1%. We were at a great place for our economy to start soaring again. And today, our unemployment is over 25% here in Fayette County. This is greater than during the Great Depression of the 1930s. 
And I just want to thank each and every one of you for staying healthy at home because you've worked so hard at this and done what we've recommended and what the governor has recommended based on the health guidelines. Our numbers here in Fayette County have stayed very flat. You know, now we have a whole new vocabulary, by the way, <laughs> um, which includes flattening the curve. And so as a result, we are now able to, to gradually transition to healthy at work. Check out this blueprint for economic recovery by visiting our COVID-19 page. Again, it's www.lexingtonky.gov and you can look through our entire plan and see what, see what we're recommending. Now, another important step to reopening is contact tracing. And I know you've heard a lot about this. This is an important tool that will help reduce the continued spread of COVID-19 by identifying and testing people who've come in contact with those who have the disease. And you know, as we gradually open our economy, there's a chance, you know, that you might come in contact with someone. So the contact tracing will help us. The governor is working on a program in coordination with our health department that will actually hire contact tracers who will work in our own community. And this will be rolled out very soon. And finally, I wanna to talk to you about the Mayor's Fund for the Greater Good. This is a fund I established and it's moving forward, raising money to help nonprofits that provide critical services to our most vulnerable citizens here in Fayette County. If you are able and have some resources, you can donate to this fund by visiting www.bgcf.givingfuel.com slash mayor's fund. Through community support, we're, we've already raised over a quarter of a million dollars and we can use your support if you'll if you're able to give a little bit. As I keep saying, and I'll just say it over and over again, you are doing a great job for us, our community. We continue to slow COVID-19 by remaining healthy at home when we can and gradually being healthy at work. This is really hard work. Sometimes it's frustrating work and we all want to just get back and have a normal life, right? What we used to have. But I, I praise you and applaud you for, for following these guidelines. We will get there and we will stay a strong community like we have always been. So thank you for your hard work. Stay strong and have a great day.